stuff like this, when there's a lot of crap that goes wrong, little things like this make your day. So let's take it. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Simmers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Checking out the old Texas herd. Got the big boy here. Gotta get rid of him though. We do not need the fella. Gonna keep the calves though. I know I hadn't talked to you about this much, but we're gonna keep a lot of these cows. I'm gonna sell some of them, but um, definitely gonna keep uh, all the calves for sure. I like the way they look. We're gonna give them a shot and try them out. So that's what we're gonna do. But today, I'm going to uh, hang out with these guys a little bit today. I've borrowed the tractor from a neighbor and uh, always got good neighbors. It's so nice to have good neighbors, but I'm gonna get on the tractor and what I'm gonna do is start using these freestanding panels. These panels, uh, I can't wait to do this. And that's why I bought, I bought 20 of them. I just said, you know, I'm getting a truckload of them. I might as well use them. Might as well get a bunch of them. So. I got these freestanding panels and what I'm going to start doing is here is the pasture <clears throat> I'm going to do a little separation what I'm going to do so here's a loadout we got to do a lot of work here you can see there's some brush in there needs to be cleaned up and whatnot this will eventually be our working area but these pins are solid pins like I've said before you can see kind of an alley right here which is where I loaded up those texas four and took over i took over to the original places right here so what we're going to do is i'm going to put just to keep the animals out of this area because the front gate is over there and anytime somebody pulls up here we don't want the bison to be in this area for a chance of them to escape so what we're doing is i'm going to take and i've already started this but i'm going to take these freestanding panels from this existing corral and stretch all the way across here under those pecan trees and tag up meet up with that fence over there it's perfectly 10 it's 10 so it's 240 feet which is perfect um i don't know how it worked out that way but in the middle our road comes right through here and goes down so in the middle what we're gonna do is these panels two of them came with a 10 foot gate and so we're going to put that one in the center or there here's this freestanding panel this one that came with a 10 foot gate i got two of them which is awesome so this will be right in the center of the road and uh i can still put all these panels up so that's what i'm going to do real quick and get going get this set up because basically what we're doing what all this is about is they're gonna go into that lot We've got some animals coming from the original property they're gonna come right over here and join the texas group so got our work cut out for us that's why i'm doing that because this is the very first solid 20 acre paddock they're gonna go in they've been in, up here in this holding area in these big working lots which are pretty decent and got some grazing and whatnot but we're gonna actually put them out on some acreage and some land we got a pond we got access to so i'm gonna put these freestanding panels up here we've got those animals coming later on after i get rid of these two bulls i'm selling these two bulls may sell some cows out of this texas group once that's done i've got some animals coming over the whole plan was to get some animals over here from the original place across town and uh, start our herd over here so we still got to wean our calves we still got to cut our calves off and, and these pens aren't um 100 percent the way we want them so we've got to work with what we got uh, but we are going to take these four calves and wean them so something else i'm going to do first before i get on that tractor i got the 14 percent cattle cubes that i always use but what I'm going to do is, you can see they're following me. I've already got them trained a little bit. Whenever I need to catch them, which is pretty soon, look, he's already right here. This guy's got to go. We don't need him. He is a pretty bull, but he, uh, he needs to go. 
he's a little bit feisty for me uh, but he's just not where he's not what we want he's no big joe he is pretty though i like the color of his his uh, hide and whatnot so but it's perfect that he's in here because we've got to catch them eventually so that's why i'm going to kind of get them coming in here um, in this area because this is where they have to load out right over here by Maya. So um, I'm gonna drop some cubes in here keep doing that for about a week Try to get them to come in here so we can eventually catch them and get them to um, load out so Part of the training process um, using cattle cubes, so I should say bison cubes. It doesn't matter or, or uh, Cake whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna put some out real quick. See, they don't like being pinned up in here. They don't like tight spaces. But this is part of it whenever you've got to load animals out. And they're not used to being handled and worked with. This is just part of it. Some things you got to do to try to get them. Uh, we've been feeding them cubes here and there just to help them out. But getting away from them, give them a little distance. These animals are smart and they know what the heck's going on. But eventually we'll catch them in here. We'll have to sort them out. So I'm uh, just slowly get them used to coming in here with those cubes and, and they need a little bit of cubes. There's no telling before I got them how many, if they even had any cubes. I'm gonna let them get used to that. So I'll do this on a daily basis. You know, you try to be consistent in the morning if you can hard because Kevin and I both are busy and and, and whatnot so uh, but if you can get them to come in here get them used to that then you catch them in here and uh, you hopefully can work them and, and get them loaded out so out perfect I don't know how but uh, everything lined up this uh, road here lines up perfect where the 10 foot gate is gonna be right there on the road I, I don't know how to so I'm gonna get this over there so uh, line it up
Guys, I don't even know how this even happens, but obviously here's the road, right? It couldn't line up any more perfect. How does that even happen? I mean, I meant to be. It was meant to be. Let's open this, see how it works. <clears throat> That's crazy. That is just crazy. Leaning a little because we got some slope from north to south down here to the these, these pecan trees. So this is awesome. Stuff like this, when there's a lot of crap that goes wrong, little things like this make your day. So we'll take it. Get in there. Let's see how it works out. See, there's this old head gate right here where they used to work cattle and it just catches them right here there's no squeeze or anything so uh, this thing has seen better days it looks like it's made by top hand but um anyways so they've already been hanging out in here for a while out here working putting up these freestanding panels but I want them to be able to actually get used to this and go through here and it's like you know before we work and we open up our uh, corral system what we we like to open up our corral system open up you can for animals that have even never been in there you get them used to your alleys and your tubs and so you can open it up for them um, and let them get used to it so that whenever you go run them through it it's a little bit smoother than um, you know than just put them in here for the first time and I tried to round them up the other day and it didn't work very well trying to separate these bulls um, but we got to separate the bulls and the calves and so you just let it open up let them run through it let them get used to it and whenever you go to push them and run them through there they know because they remember that they can run through there so it's just a uh, little little tricks like that of the trade you try to uh, be proactive about well, it took me longer than I thought. It's just uh, by lining them up is what took me so long. 
I really wanted this to be straight. I want it to look good. And I got, I tried to close the gap as much as I could on the, in between each freestanding panel. Closed the gap, got our gate. Luckily just ended up right there on the road. Um, and when I measured, I was like, I knew it was gonna be close. So, um, you know, that's why it, it just worked out and we used these. So um, I've got one more to put down there. I may have to put a gate on the corner. I've learned that raising bison, it's always nice to have gates in every single corner that you have because you never know when they get out or you got to move them and whatnot, you've got a gate. So if you got corners without gates, you need to put one there just in case. It's pretty important. So a couple of next big moves is we're bringing some animals over here and uh, getting rid of some of these animals is is part of why I was opening this up. And then uh, we're gonna transition into this 20 acre lot right here behind uh, what I like to call behind the barn. So we're gonna transition them into down here and uh, there's a pond right down here. You can see the pond, it's already got water in it. So that's good, works out. But uh, I got one more to put up down here. I'm having my fence worked on a little bit. Uh, I've gotta drive some corner posts down that have come up. They were just driven down a long time ago and over time they've came up. So got to get some work done on that. Other than that, just know that the ranch getting prepped and ready to let these guys out on some natural grass, which I love about this place. And I'll keep you updated on more and more as uh, we're just trying to get this ranch up and going, guys. Thank you guys for watching.